what are ways to plant seeds to your family or unbelievers? How long have I been living alone? How do you deal with anxiety as a Christian? When did you start taking the gym seriously? Oh, this is a good question. Am I saving myself from marriage, you juicy little people? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Kendall Grove. So today's video is gonna be very different. I am gonna do my first ever q and I am always getting asked questions like on my TikTok comments or just like DMs and Instagram. So I am gonna go ahead and do a like, get to know me video. So grab a snack today. We are having these toasted coconut little finster things. I got these from Costco guys and um, there's not a lot left. They're really good. And then, of course, we have to have an energy drink. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Just so you guys know, I am answering everything from basic get to know me questions, from fitness questions, to faith questions, to even a little bit about like relationship questions. So I'm going to go ahead and answer those and let's get into it. The first question I was asked is how old am I? I am 24. People always think I'm like 19 or 20. I don't know if it's just because I'm very like hyper and energetic and they... What is my ethnicity and background? My dad's side is Italian, but they're like, you know, hillbilly Italian. And then my mom is Hispanic, but like she's only half and she doesn't know like any Spanish or anything like that. So me, I, I just say white. Like growing up, a lot of people thought I oh, was everything but white. And I think it's just because I do have dark features and I'm more tan. So I don't really, yeah. So yeah, a lot of people are wondering that. And no, I don't know any other languages. I just know English and I would love to know more. Okay. How long have I been living alone? So <clears throat> if you guys don't know, I do live alone. This is my second place I've had. Um, I've ever since high school, I kind of like lived with my grandma, lived with my aunt, lived with my just like random people or whatever. And then started living on my own when I was either 19 or 20. I can't remember like paying my own bills and everything like that. Um, and this ties into another question. So somebody did ask like, is it hard living on your own? Yes. Okay. Everything I have is because of God. He has provided me things I've never had before. Like growing up, I never really had a bed or anything like that. So he provided a way for me to have that. And the very first place I lived was a little studio apartment. It was 450 square feet. It was nice. I had like a little balcony. And for the first three, four months, mind you, I, like I was working in a factory at this time. For the first three or four months, I slept on a piece of memory foam on the floor and my back hurt every day, but that's where I started off at. And then I was able to save up a little bit of money and I bought me a twin a twin bed and I ordered like this twin bed frame off of Amazon for like 50 bucks. And so little by little, I was able to get stuff. It's one of those things like you don't realize how much it costs to live alone just like from buying toilet paper and toothpaste and towels. And like I used one bowl and one plate because I refused to buy any more because I didn't need to. There is so much peace and freedom when you live alone in my experience. And um, especially with my relationship with God, I can make, you know, my place feel very, I want, when someone walks into my place, I want them to feel the presence of God because as for me, my house, we will serve the Lord. So I'm always praying over my apartment. I'm praying over the people around me because I don't know what's going on in there. So I don't really know what number I'm on. I'm just going to keep going until I'm bored and don't want to answer any more questions. Oh, why do I drink so many energy drinks? <laughs> I don't really drink like one every day. When I drink energy drinks, I will get one of these. Like I got this at like eight in the morning. It's almost like six o'clock. It's not even halfway gone. Like I sip on them like little 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 sips and like that's enough like for me to like stay kickstarted okay so these are some more fitness questions oh advice for someone who wants to start working out so if you guys don't know i have lost like i used to be like like 190 almost 200 pounds i started working out when i was 19 i started weightlifting. advice is stop trying to do it just to solely lose weight and to look good because that just becomes vain and then no matter what you're always gonna say, oh, I don't look good enough. I Biggest thing I could give you is add more healthy habits rather than taking away bad habits. So it's so much harder to take away a bad habit rather than to add a new habit, at least in my experience. So it was a lot harder for me to take away sugar. So what I did is just started adding healthier meals, start adding more protein to my meals, start adding more water. And then little by little, you'll start to see that your body wants that more than like the bad stuff. 
what Gymshark collection do you like the most? So if you guys don't know, or if you're on TikTok or Instagram, I only wear Gymshark. And the reason to that is because I know that when I get a certain collection or a certain size, I know it's gonna fit me. And it is a bit more pricey, but I have been wearing some collections for like almost three, four years now, and I still wear them to this day because the quality is top tier. The collection I like the most is the Vital Seamless. When did you start taking the gym seriously? Oh, this is a good question. So yes, I've been working out since I was 19, but I didn't start taking the gym serious until I think I was 21, 22. So like almost two years ago. Cause I was like for the first two years, even three years, I was only doing it to lose weight. And then when I shifted my mindset to stop doing so much cardio, start pushing yourself when you're weightlifting, like all that stuff, I started finding it more enjoyable. And every time I go in there, I'm like, okay, I wanna do better than last time. Even if it's only like one more rep than the last week. That's when I started taking the gym seriously, like a couple years ago. And I've seen the most results since I actually started like pushing myself and being like, okay, one more rep, pushing myself to failure, you know, all, that, all that kind of stuff. Maybe we can do like a whole video of Q&A with like fitness stuff. What is my day-to-day -day skin slash hair routine? So I am not a fancy girl, okay? First of all, fancy things cost fancy money, okay? And I don't have fancy money. I try to wear sunscreen every day. So I would say five out of the seven days I wear sunscreen because those other two days I am inside working from home and I don't care to put sunscreen on. But I'm trying to get better at that where I'm doing it every day. So sunscreen, absolutely moisturizing in the morning and at night. The skin care that I am like not very consistent with is retinol. I didn't even start washing my face until like two years ago. I know it's nasty. And then my hair routine is nothing fancy as well. I do use the rosemary, like the Miele rosemary stuff, but I wash my hair like every four days now. And like, it's really greasy. So I need to wash it today. And then I use a hair curl pudding. And then, um, yeah, that's literally, yeah, I don't do anything fancy. I don't do masks. I don't put like oil in my hair. Um, I get a trim every probably two months. My hair slash skincare routine. <sighs> I need a snack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many siblings do I have? I have three brothers and one sister. And I am the second oldest. The oldest brother is like 27. Where am I from? I am from Indiana. I'm from Northern Indiana. and um, But I have lived in Tennessee. That's where I went to school. I went to school in Tennessee for a little bit. I lived there when I was younger. I am from Alabama, you know, country state. Actually growing up, I had an accent until I was like eight or nine, I think. Like people could not understand me because I was from the hills in Tennessee. Let's get into some Jesus questions, okay? When did I get saved? I was 15 when I got saved down in Tennessee. What is my denomination? So if you don't know, there are different denominations of church. There's Baptist, there's pedestrian, pedestrian. What the freak am I trying to say? Pedestrian, I don't know, um, Pescatarian, all kinds of different denominations. I am non-denominational, meaning I don't define myself in like a denomination because I'm a Bible-believing Christian. I've been to a couple churches where they only focus on like their little man-made rules, like you can't wear this and you have to do this and you have to you know, do six jumping jacks before you get saved kind of thing. This is a good question. What are ways to plant seeds to your family or unbelievers? So. Most of my family are unbelievers. I do have some people that are believers or they're just uh, backslid Christians. We all have those. Or a lot of my friends growing up, they were not believers. So I just always talked about my faith. One of my best friends growing up, she claimed to be an atheist and everything. And I just kept talking about my faith. I never put anything on her. And then one day she called me and she wanted to be saved. So you should never have any shame about talking about your faith to other people. I truly believe that God has used me and can use anyone to plant a seed in another person's heart just by talking about the goodness of God in their life, in their own testimony. How do you deal with anxiety as a Christian? So it's crazy because I never dealt with anxiety at all until I became a Christian. And um, it's crazy because it's so true. When you become a Christian, your life does not get easier, but you do have more hope, you have more joy, even in the sadness. It's hard to explain, but you know what? I serve a good guy. If I'm like very rushed, if I'm like rushed somewhere, I will get anxious and everything like that. Um, I have to put worship music on. I have to isolate myself and I have to get on my hands and knees and just pray to God. I lay it down at his feet and I'm like, Lord, I don't feel good. I don't like how I feel and I know I'm a little crazy right now and I need you to take it away because I get angry anxiety. And I'm not like someone who struggles with it on a day-to-day -day basis, but like especially around that time of the month. Yeah, it gets bad. 
So yeah, I have to lay that down to the Lord. On one of my TikToks, I mentioned that we have live stream access to the church I go to. So if you are unavailable to like either have a ride to church, you just don't like the church, any churches in your area. My church does offer online services. So um, I'll put the information in the little, what's it? The description box. I'll put it in the description box. Okay, and then these are just like miscellaneous, like little, like I guess personal questions. Like the first one is, do I drink? No, I don't drink. Um, am I saving myself from marriage, you juicy little people? Yes, I am. I know people want to be weird about that. Be like, oh my gosh, but what if you don't have a connection? You have to test drive the car before you buy it. I've heard it all. Save it. Save it, okay? A human is not a car. And then that goes into how long have my boyfriend and I been dating? Almost two and a half years. We're both in our first relationship. And Lord willing, this will be our last relationship, period. Um, is your boyfriend Christian? Yes, he loves the Lord. Okay, the last question I'm going to answer is, when did you start creating content? I've always loved doing it, but I never, I always did it in like a vain way. I was like, I can do this and get rich, you know, stuff like that. And then like, God kind of like had me step away from social media. And then like, I went back to it, but like with a different like perspective. I know that the Lord can use my personality to almost plant a seed through the internet. And the internet is such a dark and nasty and ugly place. And I want to be the light and I want to reflect Christ. And anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And I really would love to do a part two because there was a ton of questions. I was like, y'all want to know so much about me. Um, yeah. And my ADHD is like kicking in and like sitting down this long. It's like not for me. So I'm going to go probably go to the pool. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have more questions, maybe leave them down. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.